everyone, I'm Candace Taylor and I'm the Director of Marketing with Cresco International and IBM Business Analytics Partner. And we are here today live from the IBM Insight 2015 conference in Vegas. And I have David Zyla with me. He is the IBM Technical Specialist. Um, and we are going to go over some questions today on the new IBM Cognos BI, which is called Cognos Analytics. Thank you, David, for being here. My pleasure. I'll jump right into it with the first question. Why did IBM develop Cognos Analytics? It's a great question. So <clears throat> I think it's important to set the stage properly with Cognos Analytics, where it came from and where it is today. So there's no doubt that business intelligence, it's pervasive, it's everywhere. Um, there's no doubt that historically, today and in the future, it's going to be mission critical. We need enterprise reporting, we need analysis, we need dashboards, we need to get that information out. But, you know, there's the challenge that IT has, has with regards to, you know, there's such demands on that it's very difficult to get information out. And we're seeing this trend of agile development, right? So, you know, business needs answers quickly, they need to respond, they need analysis and insight, and then uh, IT does as best they can, but they try and get information out quite quickly. The, the problem with that is that in doing so, they end up creating information silos. So, you know, you may answer a question with regards to HR, but you may have impacts down the road. And so in general, when it comes to making decisions, we call that analytics quotient or your analytics maturity. Right. And what we're finding is that, you know, it really, it really impacts and hurts a company's analytics maturity. Okay. So what our approach is, we really want to make business intelligence pervasive get it everywhere out there in the company so that people are making informed decisions and they get away from these, these, uh, these silos of information. Okay, great. But so what is Cognos Analytics? So I know everything's going analytics these days, right. but at the end of the day, Cognos Analytics is just the next generation of Cognos Business Intelligence. Okay. So for those customers out there that are running Cognos 10.1, 10.2, whatever, it's the latest generation. Okay. So all the good stuff that you had, dashboarding, reporting, and Cognos, you get that with Cognos Analytics as well. Um, but again, there's some key themes that we have in there that really help with regards to um, uh, pushing prevalent analytics, getting that out to everyone. Great. So there's, um, before I forget, there's probably a couple themes that we should touch on as well. Okay. Uh, with regards to, you know, you look at the whole analytics experience. It's right. all around authoring, consumption, and reporting. Those are really the sort of general themes that we focused on. Before. Okay, great. Cognitive analytics. Can you break that down a little bit more for me? Sure. <clears throat> so from, I guess, uh, when the product management teams are coming together and thinking about what's really going to impact our customers, the three things that came out were smarter self-service, Amplify and act, and secure and confident. So I know okay. it sounds like the marketing buzz, but well, you know we, we can we can jump. No offense against marketing. No, no, we, not we can at all. take that down a little bit lower. So Absolutely. let's talk about smarter self-service. Okay. So the Data Warehouse Institute, TDWI, I'm sure many of you are familiar with their work. Yep. They still say that in today's day and age, with analytics and maturity models, you know we only have around a 20% penetration rate with regard to business intelligence. Okay. So that means that. 20% of an organization is actually making informed business decision. Right. So there's there's a huge area out there that, that's not really leveraging analytics or business intelligence as best they can. Right. So what we're really trying to do is make it dead simple so that my mom can get out there and do <laughs> some business intelligence. Awesome. Um, it's very, uh, very simple to, to get information out there. Perfect. So we talk about navigation, right? Everyone's mm -hmm. flipping around their phone. Like the way you navigate and interact with an application is, is critical. Okay. So. Um, no matter if you're going to be consuming this and working with it on your desktop or on a tablet, it's going to be the same, exact same experience. So okay. really simple, intuitive to use. User friendly. For sure. Yeah. Um, and what I like about it as well, there is a smart search as well. So uh, not only can you just search for content, but it's doing the uh, search as you type as well. Okay. And in addition to that, you know, when you start search on Great Outdoors or Google Favorite Great Outdoors sample, okay. it'll say, well, are you looking for a package or a report or a data source? So you have much more granularity, control, and flexibility okay. in terms of how you go about doing the search. Um, for existing customers out there, they may be familiar with, you know, packages. When you launch, you know, uh, start the report development process, you have to choose a package. We've got recent reports as well, so you know if there's the top 10 financial reports or operational reports, you know, things you do on a regular basis, those are going to be at your fingertips, so you can you know, jump into it right away. Right, okay. Um, That's great. I think a couple other things with regards to uh, interaction. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So this this video, me standing up here and just talking about all the great features, <laughs> really isn't going to do it justice. Um, so the, the, the user experience has fundamentally been changed from Cognos 10.2 to the latest release, release to what it is today. So picture any interface, whether you're working in a dashboard or working in a report, it's meant to be a simple streamlined interface. So now we actually have on-demand toolbars. Okay. So if you're formatting a report or if you're doing a calculation, you only get those toolbars that pop up just in time. So okay. it really keeps the interface really simple, wow. elegant. Um, so it's, it's really nicely done. Yeah, that's and probably, probably the biggest feature with regards to keeping it simple is the notion of modules. And we have um, intent modeling. So okay. if you're familiar with Watson, uh, Watson Analytics, Absolutely, it's yes. everywhere today here at the yeah. conference. Um, but you know a lot of the demos that they go through, they say, let's take a data, data set um, and let's uh, throw it into Watson Analytics. Right. And so it's actually sort of digesting that and figuring out the intent behind the data. So okay. we're doing some of that as well with regards to uh, uh, Cognos Analytics. Okay. So it really, really helps accelerate the, the, the process. Right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, probably the last thing I guess on that is uh, with regards to the data. So if you're accessing corporate data, same story. We're even taking it a step further with uh, the ability to upload data. There's buttons front and center, so it's, it's very easy to get data in, into the application. Okay. So, so the next theme that we're looking at is amplify and act. So you know it's all about you know taking taking action on this data. So if you think back to Cognos 10.2.2 as it exists today, one of the great things that we can do is when it comes to, uh, is with regards to building dashboards. So a dashboard isn't sort of an object created on its own. We're actually reusing existing report cards. So using charts, tables, and figures to be more efficient. We're actually taking that a step further with regards to uh, Cognos Analytics because now it's basically you have an insight and we're making it more reusable and shareable. So if you have a colleague who found you know, what the key driver of sales was and they had a metric and they had a visualization, you, ha you have the ability to take that, work with it, augment it, and sort of evolve that concept. So it's, you're evolving away from everybody doing their own thing, having right. their own set of reports. Uh, so it's, it's really powerful and, and I think that's going to be a fundamental change okay. for, for the tool. That's great. Um, in addition to that, it's all about getting information out. So in 10.2.2 today, we've got sort of my folders and public folders. We're actually taking that a step further with regards to team folders. So individuals you work with and collaborate with on a regular basis, you're going to be able to get those reports out much more quickly and you know, take action on those insights. Wow. And I guess the final thing is with regards to secure and confident. So it's the exact same secure, robust environment that you're familiar with right. for Cognos 10.2.2 okay. today. Um, but we know everyone's talking about the cloud. And yeah. so with regards to the architecture, whether your data is on-prem on or on cloud, it's the same architecture that's okay. going to support that. So, so rest assured and know that you know, if you're starting small and moving to the cloud or scaling out, right. the, 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 the solution's going to scale with your core. Right. Um, and some performance enhancements with regards to doing more in memory, some, some, some data snapshots as well. It's all about performance and making it a very, um, very fast environment. For, for small organizations, we now have uh, built-in authentication. So if you're a larger company, you're typically tying into your own LDAP provider or Active Directory. But if you're a small shop, maybe you're starting us uh, in a department, we have a built-in authentication provider as well. So just a quick way to add some users and passwords. So this is all really cool stuff. Thanks awesome so much. stuff with Cognos <coughs> Analytics. When will it be available? When can you so, see it be available? So Cognos Analytics, it's targeted to be released in December of 2015. Okay. So don't make any buying decisions based on that. Based, yeah. That's when we're targeting for it to be released. Okay. But the good news is, for those of you that are familiar with Watson Analytics, what we did in the past is that we actually have trials and uh, we have a way to get your hands on it. So you can kick the tires, sign up now. So if you go to Analytic Zone on the download right. section, okay. you can sign up for a trial. Okay. And so our approach is we're calling it develop in the open. So we're really interested in getting customer feedback because you know they get early access to the tool. We ask that they share their feedback and experience with us and we'll take that input into consideration. So okay. I think it's a great way of having input into the direction of the product. Absolutely, great. Awesome. Okay, well thanks David. Thanks. Thank you for your great. time. You heard it here, brand new features of IBM Cognos Analytics from the expo floor at IBM Insight 2015.